Okay, so this is the subframe brace as I have it at the moment. Uh, you'll notice back here there's a little bit more going on. Um, I drilled these holes to do uh, four plug welds. I'm going to weld down the middle also uh, because I didn't get this angle right. I had to cut this and rotate the end, so I'm going to slug and plug that so it's strong uh, when this all goes back together. Uh, the, as you can see, I've got some markings up here. Uh, there's a dead zone from here to here where my leg needs to be that uh, I, I put on there so I don't weld anything there. Uh, one issue I'm having is my leg hits this a little bit and rather than trying to cut it and offset it and offset it and offset it and get all over everything and then figure out a way to put oil in it, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Either deal with the controls as they are or possibly extend this foot peg out, put the factory lever back on and bend it out a little bit. But I'll probably just leave it just like this because I can still operate the brake just fine. It's just my legs up against it. Um, but uh, any, anyway, uh, down here I'm gonna be putting in a gusset. And from here to here I'm gonna put a pipe in to keep that nice and sturdy. And then uh, one of my side sidecar arms on the top We'll get welded here, and then another one in here somewhere. And then the bottom one, will go, one will go there, and then one will go up here. Um, I'm probably going to end up gusseting this too, because I'd rather build it heavy and overkill and have the extra weight to deal with versus build it uh, to build it light and have stuff crumble and possibly twist the bike all into a pretzel and a heap of scrap metal in the ditch. So. Uh, another issue I'm running into, um, as you as you know, that piece over there that comes from the left side of the engine down to here, that's welded on, and then it's welded to all this. So the only way I can get this off is to take the whole, um, well, take both of the front engine mount bolts out, take all four of these bolts out, then drop pieces out individually, and kind of uh, wiggle this off. That's not going to work. So what I'm going to do right here is... Uh, cut this and put a clover leaf in and what that is is it's a little piece of metal with four lobes on it like a clover and uh, You put a bolt in each of those little lobes and then in the center it, You weld your pipe on both sides and then it keeps it nice and strong uh, Where you where you would normally see that is in uh, roll cages if you needed to like pull the dash out of a car or um, like across the top of an engine for a strut tower brace, possibly, um, you know, off-road race trucks, rally cars, that sort of thing. Uh, I had thought about doing that, a clover leaf here and here, and having this whole thing up closer to the engine, but um, if I needed to work on the clutch or uh, put oil in it or any of that, it'd be a pain. And then uh, if I got it any closer, that clover leaf would be hitting the frame here and it'd be uh, fine up here. But it's just too much extra work and it's something to catch my leg on. With this straight, uh, my leg will slide up and down it and I shouldn't get hurt with it. But uh, again, I'm building it heavy because I'd rather have it strong and heavy than light and weak and twist up. So that's, that's where I'm at right now with the... Uh, the whole project it's looking pretty good I think it'll be strong enough so uh, next episode I'll have this all welded up braced gusseted etc and we'll be attaching the sidecar so I'll see you then